speed. The pole's ready, right? No, he's got his downhaul still. All right, we'll actually keep going. Genoa? Thank you. Your left cheek twisted. Your left cheek's not right. Is it twisted? Boom bang off? Yes. So one one trick on a twisted sail is ease the um, halyard about a foot. Kind of work it. Ease it down. And then pull in the sheet a few times. Try to get, get some wind and see if you can get it to... Un Spin. You have to leave some tension on the top side so that will go in back. Yeah. And it usually, if there's pressure, get the pull back a little bit and see if that you can get it in the wind. Let's see if that'll do it. Now try it. Is it caught on something, I think? Sometimes you have to come it down. It's not really there you go. 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 You got a canoe at 12 o'clock? I got it. Okay. Oh, that was lucky. <laughs> so, question, you said take the boom bang off. Yeah, we're right. taking the boom bang off, pushing it forward, and trying to let it pop. Raise up a little bit more. This way. And I think you do the opposite. I, I think you want, so the boom bang, unless it's downwind. overpowered, is a downwind control. Okay. So you actually want bang to close the leech a little bit. Okay. Yep. Yep. So boom bang off. Yeah. And then you want it about, not too much, you want it about parallel with the water, okay. typically, kind of where you want it. Okay. And that's going to be faster for you. Um, Keith, one just observation, and, and maybe it was because you were still setting up the call. But one thing, just for safety, that I suggest. So maybe just tell me what you guys, when you're going downwind, what are you thinking about in terms of pole height and pole position? What are you trying to achieve? I'm using a missile hole when we're using the higher lower mass and go to the higher mass. I'm trying to get angle up right now. Pole position now. I think it's a better pole. So one little, one, real quick, one little trick. 
is on your copy mix, put a cup in. And the reason is, what you're trying to do is, your, your sort of base position is that that pole is perpendicular to the wind. Yeah. Right? The fast setting though is once you get there, is bring it back a few degrees. So you want to you want to um, over rotate it just a little bit. So when you keep easing to the, the guy, such in these conditions are usually pretty dynamic. So as the wind moves around, the trimmer wants to ease it, and bring it back, to keep it close to perpendicular. Does that make sense? So right. Now you're saying it's right there you're using that telltale that's on the horse page. That's about that's a that's pretty close. I, I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm saying if you put one on that up higher, it's even better. It's it's a lot easier to see. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm just using that as a marking motion. Yeah. yeah. Now what you're yeah. saying is more speed if you need to turn this way. So so driving. So you are talking about that. Yeah, of course I was just talking about the pole. Yeah. Um, so the drive is a little different, right? So yeah, don't don't worry about that yet. Focus on what you meant. So what you're yeah. saying is, is uh, assuming we had one on the top of it right now, we can just sort of pull back and pull back. So you're pretty close to perpendicular. In fact, you could probably pull the pull back a little bit more because you want to you want to bring it back a little bit past perpendicular. Past yeah, perpendicular. Yeah. Okay. But but always start perpendicular because that's your grounding spot. You know, hey, I got this right. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty close to it. Pole height, now, so whomever's trimming, trimming is, 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 is a, um, a sport that you're constantly moving. So you ease until you get a curl. If you can use more, you're trying to get a curl, then you pull back. It's constant moving. You never lock and load. You just ease up. And it's a lot of, it's a lot of freaking work then. Yeah, that's what you want. Well, you know, it's good to stay full. The fastest is on that bitter end, where you're easy and full. Because it can look full, and you've got it too strapped. So you just keep easy. Now, full height is the next step. So first thing I think about is, you know, my perpendicular to the wind. When I bring it back, I square it back just a little bit more. Then the next thing I think about is where is it breaking on this on the uh, center? Where you really want it to break is on the, the whole side, right? Sometimes you hear the shoulder, but that's too high. You really, if you can get it to break on the side, that's your idea. So how do you, how do you just do? on the right side of the doing the Yeah, so ease it a little bit and let's see where it breaks. So now it's kind of breaking a little bit high. So, what you might want to do is break the pole in and, and see what happens. See where it goes. But over exaggerate. Again, go really high with it. Yeah, you don't have to use it that Over exaggerate. Yeah, now, now you. See, yeah. so now it's going low. So now bring it back down. Until you get it a little bit higher, breaking kind of right in the middle. That's sort of where you want. So we're trying to make it break in the middle of that white section. Yeah, it's actually the blue, it's kind of the blue. Yeah. The middle of the blue. First one of the blue. Yeah. So that's your, that's what you're shooting for. It's somewhere around there. So that's how you think about the pole. Um, you know, one of the things, one of the things, but that's a misleading yeah. this yeah. moment, right? That's you may want to raise the beginner. Yeah, no. Um, because a lot of times people will say, hey, you've got to get your crazy. When it's light, you actually have your path lower than your flu. Um, so, yeah, this is a little bit faster. You could probably do it down a little bit. You want it to break on the, the whole side. Okay. Yeah, so you want to be down a little bit faster. The lighter it is, the hotter you have to be. Right, so as the more active I am. Actually, no. Actually, more to Actually, so you think you're set down one. If it's light, you want to be here. Okay. Versus when it's really blowing, you're very able to stay almost dead down one. Okay. You're saying for optimal speed and optimal. Yes. 
I want to be out there, but if it's heavy enough, I can go straight downwind. Or closer to downwind, 100%. But the thing about downwind, this is, again, this boat is really dynamic, so you should never steer. So how do you steer the boat? Everybody holding this way. Everybody holding this way. You hold it. Watch what happens. We're now turning around. Unless you fight us, we're turning left. So the trimmer on this boat can almost manage how we steer by moving the buns around and steering the boat. Because your objective is to never move this thing. Because that's a break. Because it's a break. Anything I do other than perfectly straight is a break. So, 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 so am, I, but, am I trying to basically say, you know, I do this. I, I'm no constantly pitching. doing this. Right. It's like, can I let go of this? Okay. So, so, so let go of it. So I'm letting go and it's completely different. So that means, okay, I don't have to wait for that place. I get you So you need to be ah. talking to the crew to say, hey, I need more lured weight, I need more windward weight, so that this thing is so barely I even moving. Just... And I barely touch it. I mean, unless I'm in waves or something, I'm barely using this. And in, in obviously in really light air, to keep that neutral, you may have to have some sort of kind of lure deal. But it's really dynamic. So you're the one that's saying, hey, I've got too much time to get or whatever. And you're still. And the test, one of you guys, I don't know if you do this, you should only do one person on the boat looking back and playing the cut. You know, five, four, three, two, one, we've got a cup coming, or whatever. So you can do that, right? In case you need to do that. And there's times you're going to need to use it. But fast is 